Twelve women graduated from the police training school on September 1, 1972, marking the beginning of women policing in Ghana. Currently, there are over 10,896 women in the Ghana Police Service, making up about 28% of the overall police workforce. Whatever that they did, whatever that they didn't do, has brought all of us this far. There's a story to be told by our forebearers who will tell us what has gone on, what we need to do, and the future of Ghana police women. The 70th anniversary will honor accomplished women in policing to inspire future generations. 2002, when we celebrated their 50 years, all the 12 were alive. But unfortunately, as we celebrate the 70 years, we have only three living who are past their 90 years. A former National Security Coordinator and retired police commissioner, Francis Spoko lauded the role of women in policing. I have had personal encounters with them and I celebrate their gentle efficiency. They've stood on their own and their contribution has been enormous. A Deputy Attorney General Dinah Sunabadapa urged women professionals to aim higher in their respective careers. I believe that it was their resilience, it was their tenacity and their professionalism that discarded all the skepticisms that people had about recruiting women into the police service. And I, I believe that what they did not do was to shy away from any vice that will bring women policing into disrepute. The most powerful woman professional is one who combines knowledge, is one who combines professionalism with the humility to learn, unlearn, and relearn. A representative of the Inspector General of Police, COP Ebenezer Duku, assured of the administration's readiness to support police women deliver. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.